eighth grade, I wanted to just review with you a little bit about what Mrs. McNelton talked about in class today. You were talking about how to use commas to punctuate and set off um, words in a sentence that are non-essential, meaning that the sentence would still make sense and be a sentence without this information. If it can be removed from the sentence and the sentence still makes sense, it is not essential and it needs commas around it. So here's an example of one. We'll do a few examples for our review. Um, the boy sitting, actually I'll take this out for now and show you where they go. The boy sitting behind me is Jack. Okay, so here's a sentence. The boy sitting behind me is Jack. There are some words in the sentence that wouldn't need to be there and it would still be a sentence. And I kind of see them sitting behind me. If I took sitting behind me out of the sentence, it would still be a sentence. The boy is Jack. So these words are non-essential. And when you have words in the middle of the sentence that are not essential, you need to put a comma before those words and after those words. The boy sitting behind me is Jack. Okay. That actually, in this instance, that is a participle phrase because sitting behind me um, is describing or modifying boy. That's one example of non-essential um, information that needs commas. You also could have an appositive such as this. Um, Mary, um, the librarian is from Indy. It's abbreviation for Indianapolis. Okay. Mary, the librarian, is from Indy. I'm gonna put another comma here because the librarian renames Mary. Mary and the librarian, they're the same person. So this is called an appositive. It's another group of words that renames or restates a noun. And it doesn't need to be there. If you took out the appositive, the librarian, you would just have Mary is from Indy, and that would be a sentence. So I need commas before the librarian and after librarian, because these words are non-essential. It doesn't, they don't have to be there, and they require commas around them. Okay, so let's see, let's do one more. Um, Chatard beat Cecina the school on the east side of town. Period. Okay, Shatar beat Cecina, the school on the east side of town. Okay, what words in here are not necessary to the sentence could be removed? Shatar beat Cecina, the school on the east side of town. Well, the school on the east side of town could be eliminated and it would still be a sentence. Shatar beat Cecina. So I know that these are non-essential words. So I would need a comma before they begin. Shatar beat Cecina, the school on the east side of town. Now, I don't need another comma after the non-essential part of the sentence because it's the end of the sentence. And in that case, you just simply need your end mark, your period. So in this situation, you only have one comma, just like um, the one where the non-essential part was at the beginning. If it's in the middle, you need a comma before 
the non-essential part and after it. But if it's at the beginning or the end, you only need a comma separating it from the rest of the sentence. So hopefully this kind of reviews it a little and helps it to make a little more sense. Um, you had to write 10 sentences, um, original sentences for homework, and then you had to do the page in your packet. So um, hopefully this will help you and I'll see you tomorrow.